Organize the physical classroom. You can support positive behavior in learning by organizing classroom furniture, materials, and activities. To set up the classroom's physical environment, start with a clean, uncluttered room. Then, position desks, chairs, and bookshelves so that you're able to move freely and monitor students. This teacher has arranged the room so that he can see and reach all the students in the room. Too much clutter makes movement and monitoring difficult. Areas that are out of sight invite behavior problems. <laughs> when you can reach every student, you can easily deliver positive reinforcement or nip problems in the bud. Consider placing students who need extra support in closer proximity to you. That way, you can give immediate reinforcement and feedback. Now let's talk about materials. Students are more engaged and better behaved when they've been provided access to the classroom materials that they need. This sets up students for success. If you don't want students to have access to teacher materials, keep the materials out of reach. When you decorate your classroom, Strike a balance in the use of signs, posters, artwork, and miscellaneous objects. Too little can make a classroom seem cold and uninviting. Too much can be overstimulating. Now think about activities. Is there a setting for group activities? Is there an area for individual work? Is there a place where students can go to settle down when they're having a hard time? When you carefully consider the function of furniture, materials, and activities, you can design a classroom environment that promotes learning and positive behavior.